Okay, let's go. Morning, this is a demo of Soothsayer working offline. Um, for this demo, we're using a HP Edgeline, very capable data center in a box. We've been loaned by HP. And on there, we've got uh, VMware ESX running Soothsayer 1.7. In front of us on the table, on this offline LAN, uh, we have two clients. We've got a laptop, which we're using for management and some demos. And we've got a phone, which is in airplane mode and wired into the LAN. That's running ATAC 5.1. Over here on the, uh, on the laptop, we can connect to Soothsayer at its uh, LAN IP address here. And we can go and have a look at the uh, ESX console and see that this is a um, Soothsayer VM 1.7. It's got a GPU that's attached to it. Um, it's licensed for 20 people and it cannot get out to the default gateway because it's offline. So that's, there's a, a warning in red there, but that's fine. We, we want to do an offline demo. In the administration console, uh, we set up a few things so that we can work offline. So the FQDN for the responses is our LAN address. The upstream tile server is also our LAN address. And we're going to be using this tile server here, uh, which we've sideloaded some data into. So we sideloaded a cache of data so that we can actually use offline mapping. So if you look at the world here, um, you'll see that some areas are not uh, loading in detail as you would expect. We've got some places in the UK um, and over here in Texas where we're about to do a demo. So what we're going to do is use a different client just to do this demo. Uh, we'll use Google Earth. And what we're going to do with Google Earth is frash it with a demo script. So this script will fire off lots and lots of different points requests to random radios and test the links between all those radios. So it's an N squared problem. And you can see it's testing 16 radios, 240 links. Each of these links have been done in milliseconds. And over here on the map, uh, we're also modeling the coverage because we've got one meter LIDAR, which we've side loaded in uh, for uh, Fort Worth here in Texas. You can see here, we haven't got um, data for um, other areas in Google Earth, but we've got uh, some cached, got some cached imagery for here. I'm just going to see if that browser's loaded in that mapping yet, because uh, when you you're working offline, uh, the mapping doesn't load up instantly. It has to be reprojected. That takes a few seconds, and so there is there is some latency with the mapping coming in. Whilst we're waiting on that, let's go over to ATAC. Uh, so ATAC um, is working offline here, and you can see the LAN address and we've logged into this server here and it also synchronizes the templates now so you don't need to uh, to do that manually so if i click plus because i want to add a drone and i'm just going to drag this drone and place it over the road here it will fire off the request uh, to the server the t4 gpu that's on the edge line can calculate this uh, very quickly at high resolution with the lidar and so we're able to see the coverage for this drone uh, very quickly much quicker than we would be able to do if we actually try to do the processing on the phone, which would be a bad idea. So over here, back on the laptop, uh, we're still thrashing uh, the script and we're now up to 48 radios, two and a half thousand links. It's slowing down now. You can see each request is taking much longer, uh, but we're still delivering. So this is um, an offline demo using an edge line. And as you can see, it's uh, very powerful and you can serve multiple clients quite happily offline.